Tell us a bit about your background in rugby league. Uh, well, I played football up until I was 18 and then just decided I fancied started playing rugby so I went down to Rosebridge, played a season there and then went back to football for a bit and then started again at Lee Miners when I was about 20. And what was it about rugby league that got you involved? I don't know, I just fell out with football really, it was just, just felt Rugby was a better sport, plus I was a lot better at it than football, so... But yeah, yeah, just enjoyed it a lot more. And have you always been a winger when playing in rugby league? No, no, I played full-back for a couple of seasons, then centre, and then just, I've only played wing since I came here. Where have you played since joining rugby league, amateur and professional? Well, amateur, like I said, we got started at Lee Miners, I did one season there, and went to Warrington under 20, for under-21s, did a season there. Charlie, Lynx, did a season there. Swinton, one season. Rochdale, two seasons. And then San for Halifax, I've been here for, well, two and a half seasons now. And how do you think you've progressed since coming to Halifax? Well, massively. It's a lot more professional than any of the other, well, no disrespect to any of the other clubs, but it is a lot more professional than any of the other clubs. The coaches are a lot better. The training's a lot better. And like, the facilities we use are a lot better. And do you see your long-term future at Halifax then? Oh yeah, I've just signed for another two seasons, so that'll take me to being 29, and then hopefully they'll get a Super League franchise, and then we'll see from there, see what happens after that. What are your thoughts on uh, last season, last season's performance, your own performance? Well, it was. A, I think I've played a lot better last season, a bit more consistent. Um, obviously, I started kicking goals, which uh, added quite a lot to my game as well. So. Did okay doing that apart from the grand final, but hopefully we'll put that right this season. So how how did you take on the kicking duties at the club? Uh, well, a couple of Mick Govin had a few goes and he got injured, and uh, I think a few of us had a bit of a practice in training. I just said, well, well, I may as well have a go. I just went from there. And did you do much practice before then, or was it? No, well, just like I said, just in training. We all have a mess about you. All, you all just put a cone down and have a kick for goal, but no, no, not much. Well, we have to start practicing now, I think. And how often do you practice now? Well, I didn't practice at all last season, like because I was they was going over. I thought, well, there's no point changing if it's not broken. But I think this I've I've, I've uh, done a few sessions while we've been on pre-season, and hopefully uh, was carried on through this season. Do not too much because you can get, or can overdo it. But and is there a character in um, in particular who you've met over the year that stood out? Yeah, I met uh, well my best friend now, Martin Gambles. Met him at Charlie Links when. I first started there, and like I said, we've made good friends and been best friends ever since, basically. Just what, moved in with him, so. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you enjoy most about playing for Halifax? Just, it's a competitive, like, because we're a good side, a good competitive side, you, everyone wants to play in a good team. So, because we're competitive every week, it's just enjoyable to play. Plus, we've got good players here, players who you can learn a lot of things off, and like I said before, the coaches are good. Everyone associated with the club just seems, they're all nice people, so. And what do you think the new signings at the club this season will bring that we didn't have last season? Well, they're outstanding, aren't they? Stanley Jean, Macaulay, Azu, they're going to... I think we lacked a bit, sometimes, a bit of aggression, you know? When it got tough, some... Like, not people went soft, but, like, I think we could just do with a bit more... People who were a bit more aggressive in games and just drag everyone else up a bit. And, like I said, the two other Aussies who we've signed, Brannigan and Nash, I've only seen them play a couple of times, but they seem like decent players, so... Hopefully they'll help us out as well. And with Brannigan being a standoff player, something that we might have lacked last season, do you think it affected your personal game at all, or the outside backs? I think it did a bit on, because I was playing most of the game on the left-hand side, we had a different standoff basically in enough every week, so you can't get used to how people play. I mean, they're all decent players, like Bob Bezik, Penkovic and Govin all played well, but I think you need a bit of consistency. And I think we've missed someone with a good kicking game. Like all, all right, had a good kicking game the year before. And I think apparently Brannigan's got a very good kicking game. So hopefully that'll bring something else to our team. With Halifax being a part-time team as well, how do you spend the other half of your life on not playing for Halifax? Work. I work for St Helens Council. So like we work five days a week, and then train here three nights and Saturday mornings. So not really much time for anything else. Just rest when you can, basically. I'm one of them people who can't sit still, really, so if I'm not here, I'll probably go to the gym after work, so 
Just one of them things. In the new season, how personally are you going to improve your game? Uh, don't know. Just hopefully get more, get a bit more involved. And like I said, I think that'll come with having a bit more consistency at standoff. I think it, or down our left hand. If I'm going to be playing on the left hand side, it'll just help our, everyone's game on that side a lot more. Because we'll have somebody there who, well, if he stays in your free, who'll be a regular standoff. So hopefully that should help me out. Yeah. To score a lot more tries. <laughs> Do you have a personal goal for? For tries this season? Uh, no, I, I just I didn't really score that. I think I only scored about twelve last season. So hopefully, but as a winger and, and playing in a team like this, you should be aiming for twenty tries. I would have thought it should be a minimum as a winger. But <coughs> like I said, hopefully that's be what I get. And with the goals, I just want to finish the top kick goal scorer in our league. And in terms of goals for the future, do you have any? Like I said before, just, I've signed two more years here, so and then hopefully Halifax will get a Super League franchise, and it would be nice to play a Super League. But if that doesn't happen, then I've still had a good career, and I'll be happy with how I've done. Brilliant! Thanks very much.